Hello everyone, and welcome back to episode 9, I'm pretty sure on. Uh, so last time we killed Malekith, and that was pretty much it, because that took forever. Uh, so now we're going to go start heading to the Deep Root Depths, uh, which I have to defeat the uh, Gargoyle Twins first. Let me run back over here, because I know I ran over here last time, but then I went back over there. Run over here. Yeah, usually these guys are like, no, they usually take me a few tries to be too bad, but pretty much just all the duo fights are always tricky. And it's gargoyles, and I I think I talked about that before that I don't uh be very good against the gargoyles. Oh yeah. D's uh twins gone. I think we'll actually be seeing Did we see him again? I know we'll see D. Uh when we keep continuing forward we might run to him if I come back to the area, but I don't remember actually where he goes. I think he goes somewhere, I'm just blanking. What is this? Oh, yeah, here's D. You actually talking about D? You can actually summon him to fight uh, with you. I don't remember if I can also summon my spirit along with him. I think I can. He's definitely not going to like what I'm trying to go do with the uh, but he does not like those that live in death. Are we, are we good to? Yeah, I can still summon my spirit. I, can, well, I don't know actually why. I, I feel like I don't normally spawn him in. I feel like I just keep forgetting that he's there. Ooh, I think he came a lot farther than I thought he would. Yeah, these guys, I think they both do breath poison attacks, at least the first one does, but... Oh, that was, okay, that was way too greedy. <laughs> Thought maybe I could make it through the uh, poison to do a bunch of damage, but I ended up taking damage from him, which ended up killing me from poison. Not a little too greedy, but we did give a lot of his health, so... That'd be too bad if I'm actually just being more patient. Put you with D here as well. I feel like, I feel like I don't normally end up spawning him. I just must just keep forgetting that he's there because normally like they take a second to spawn in if you kind of saw there. So I think I always just kept kind of running up and running through, I'm just kind of forgetting to do that. It's definitely handy having two people helping. Especially against a duo fight, then they can always track the other guy. Oh, okay, fine. They're gonna turn around that quickly. Oh, wow, okay. What the frick? I didn't expect him to like, be able to turn so sharply after that charge. Really sharply there. Okay, well, like I said, I took a few tries, but also I'm doing very simple mistakes here. Just taking D a few seconds to spawn in, that's why I'm kind of waiting here, just so that he'll actually walk in at least closely behind me. Yeah, this was the guy I was talking about, that's the uh, brother of the guy that was down there. Uh, they got like the armor, you can see the little head poking out his chest there. It's like gold and silver armor, you can't really see it since he's just all orange right now, but... I think we may have seen him earlier on. I don't remember. I didn't really spend much time in the round table hold in this run. There's not much for me there. Go for my summon. That's a very wide speed. 
Yeah, the second one's luckily a little delayed on spawning in. I think he might be coming now though behind me, so I want to watch out. Yeah, that's one play. Stop flying away for a few seconds. Son, I'm dying. Me and D now. Third time's the charm, right? That was the third time. Yeah, they're not too bad to dodge. Especially with two summons, it's not bad. I remember the first time I came here, I completely missed this. Because I was just like, oh, it looks like it's a dead end. Didn't see anything. But you actually have to head over to this coffin right here. Oh, hold on, I have runes back here. Did I grab up my runes from before? I don't think I did. They did not give me very many runes. I I think I might have lost my runes. I don't know if I actually picked them up. No, I lost the. I forgot to pick them up. Whatever, that's fine. Yeah, I completely missed that. That's such a hard thing to uh, see underneath the waterfall there. I just didn't know that you're supposed to go in there, but there's a couple places where you can, you're supposed to go into the uh, coffin like this. I think we'll be going to the other place actually eventually. I think that's actually where we'll get to a still, I believe, is uh, the coffin. Luckily, there's lots of lot of signs people put around it to point it out, so. I missed them on my first please walk through here. I bet she came back. Don't know how these coffins work, but they just work. got no clue how that how that works or why it, they decided to yeah let's do use, use coffins to go the waterfall I know it works but
Also, it seems like it's only a one-time use cheating thing, too. A lot of magical effort just to only use it once. That's nice. Yeah, so this is the deeper depths area. I'll see more of it as we go along here, but one of the mid many hidden underground areas in Elrin. I think I go along this branch. No, I need to go along that one. Make sure I also don't fall off, because I know I've definitely fallen off of these before. Fly past all the. Or not, no, I'm not the one flying past them. Coming past the flying ants. I always get my messages appraised at like just random times. It never. I think only like a couple times I've ever gotten a message praised when it was actually like. needed, when it actually helped me. Oh, what? Oh my god. <laughs> I think because I spawned in the horse, like, as, in that direction, I don't think I was able to turn it, like, turn as I was, as it was, like, spawning in. I just went straight off the edge. I thought I'd be able to turn there. Well, that's good to note. Okay. I know I saw a funny thing that, like, it was a month or two ago, I think, but I saw on Elrond's Twitter or something, they posted, uh, the statistics for like what caused the most deaths and stuff, like what people died to, like bosses or falling or effects or random or things or whatever. And falling was like really high up there. That was like second most or something. A lot of people died for falling. So we need to Can't remember how to get up there. We need to get all the way up there. Again, going a bunch of tree branches not to fall off. This is where we'll be fighting the Lich Dragon. Lich Dragon 4 to 6. Yeah, I can drop down here. Okay. They'll make it, let's go. Yeah, normally go along that branch actually, but whatever. So I have to defeat, I have to defeat Fia's champions and then, which I don't know why, because like, Fia, I'm helping you, and then she's like, yeah, here's all these people you gotta fight first. And here's Godwin the Golden. Yeah, you're not looking too good. This was the guy in the beginning cutscene that's getting stabbed in the back with like the, the black knives and like the black like streaks running down his back. This is him. Or what was left of him, I guess I should say. After the death roof taken over him. Pretty sure this is the god one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should be here. This might have been mistaken. Yep. Are you kidding me? I'll do that again. Hey, would you stop inflicting me in madness? Oh my god. Can't you stop? Trying to do my waterfall dance. I just keep attacking right, right down. Oh, I do so much damage on him regularly. I just need to attack him regularly. <laughs> what am I doing? Ridiculous amount of damage just regularly attacking. There's like a couple waves of guys I gotta fight here. So, what's your budget here? No. This was kind of the round table hole. 
he died too deathly. They hopefully should be able to pull through. Yeah, there we go. This guy is, I think, the heaviest arm in the game. I'm pretty sure he's really not taking much damage. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What the frick? That absolutely stunlocked me there. Frick, I'm supposed to get him. Wow, that stunlocked me hard there. I know definitely very easy, so. Just need to not get stunlocked like that. Dang. Frick, I've never had that happen before. It's actually the first time I've died to these guys. Got a little far away to run, because that's where you end up fighting the Lift Dragon. Once you enter his dream, which we'll see in a little bit. Once I freaking kill these guys. They're being annoying for some reason. Oh, it's different people. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. It's different people each time. I, I, I think they're usually randomized. No, it's always randomized. Let's see. Is this Roger again? Okay, so he's always the second one, I see. Okay, now I just need to not mess it up against. Oh, why am I not drinking this? Jesus. Oh, I'm getting absolutely stunned. Y'all calm down for two seconds. I think it's because the guy with the heavy armor doesn't get stunned really, because I think his poise is so high. I think it's supposed to be like the heaviest armor in the game, I'm pretty sure, so. These guys are being a little bit more difficult than usual. Oh, I can't use my summon here. Oh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to spawn him in now, but... Is this going to keep being right on me? Oh my god, that's so much like so hard. Might be a bad idea? That was definitely a bad idea. I just need him to take one of these guys away. There we go. We gotta keep this summon here. I can get yeah, they're pretty easy. Nope, I need so many runes. Okay, here's Fia. I don't remember if I talked to her in the round table hold. I didn't really talk to many of the people in the round table hold, but What is it you intend? To deny us and our ways, like the dogmatic brutes of the Golden Order? Uh, no, you I want to help you. One. I am the guardian of those who live in death. They call me a foul and rotten witch. Yet you still wish to be held by me? I can't remember from the round table hole I talked to her, but her whole thing is like, you, you give her hugs. And then she talks to you. And she also gives a Holic Blessing, which is like a... It boosts your poise, I'm pretty sure. Have you ever seen a Hallowbrand? When the first of the demigods died, his flesh was marked with the half-wheel wound of the centipede. Godwin's Hallowbrand has since been recovered at the Round Table Hold. But there is another Hallowbrand out there somewhere, and I must find it before the time comes we receive our Lord. When Godwin died, a Hallowbrand scored his flesh, but another exists. Another mark in the shape of the half-wheel wound of the centipede, and I must find it before the time comes we receive our Lord. My hands 
will be dirtied once more by the deed. Will you still let me hold you? Even then? Yeah, so we should have the... Yeah, we have the Christmas of Death. This is what we got from doing a little bit of Ronnie's quest line when we went up like that inverted tower to the top and interact with her body. That's what we got this for. That's what I was doing that this earlier. Is the other How did you... Oh, my utmost thanks. With this, Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead and claim a second illustrious life. You are my, our true champion. And though I can't be of any use to you, can I hold you tight? If only for a moment. I will soon lay with Godwin, and it will surely stir within me. The new life of the Golden Prince, and first dead of the demigods, as the rune of those who live in death. Please, do one thing for me. Brandish this child, my rune, and take for yourself the throne. Stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming our Elden Lord. I will suit to brandish my stay the by so becoming... So, yeah, basically she lives with those who li live in death and she'll produce the, ru the rune. I don't know how that works, but basically her child living with Godwin. Uh, and then that's how we take that rune. But yeah, the curse marker death thingy was like the little round centipede thing. Jeez, that eye is creepy. Um, I think I have to go back to the... Oh, yeah, that's a side creature. Uh, which that's like, which is why it's on Ronnie because she used the rune of death on herself to get rid of her body. Because now she lives in like a doll. That's who you're talking to. She, her soul's like in a doll now. She used some magic to do that. Uh, but it's actually the curse mark of death because it's the only thing that can actually like permanently kill a demigod. And those who live in death are like the skeletons or other entities that like, well, yeah, live in death. <laughs> They're alive. And, uh, I should, should just sleep soon. Should you go to sleep soon? Do I need to talk to you one more time? Or do I need, because I, I need to wait till like, she goes to sleep and I can enter her dream. The portal over there. This is good, but I, am, I choose to oh, lie with Godwin of my own will. Not the remains of one child. I thought it was the same dialogue as I was like, and I will oh, a child. Who will inherit your warmth too? What greater blessing could there be but to be born a deathbed companion? This is goodbye, my dear, but I am satisfied. I choose to lie with Godwin of my own will, and I will be willing to. Okay, yeah, okay. That's the same thing. Do I need to rest again? Because resting is how like you can like reset. Like it loads in the world again, so you can like get events moving. Yeah, okay, hold up. Try laying down one more time. There we go. Gotta lay down twice. Or I I have to sit down. She's lying down. Now I enter her dream, which this is where we fight old dragon Fortisex. Because Fortisex was like some lore stuff around this character. Fortisex, if I remember correctly, was like a dragon that Godwin befriended when he was fighting against the dragons or something and joined his side. So he's still like his companion, like friend in death as well. Also, the sky changes. I absolutely ran into that. There's so much death plate, I need to stay away from all that. Death plate, if you don't know, will instantly kill you. Yeah, 
There's a lot of shockwave attacks with this lightning. So I'm going to check for that. What's he doing? He's going to wait there. Okay, that yeah, actually hurt. I only fought him a couple times. So I don't remember fully all of his attacks. to the second phase because I heard the music for me. Oh jeez, I kind of missed that. Can I keep running up this side? Let's go! First try! Oh, wow. Whew. Yeah, he's not he's not too difficult. I think I was able to dodge a lot of shockwave attacks there, luckily, so... I think that's usually what gets me. That always gets me in shockwave attacks. Just things that like, Yeah, well, yeah, shockwave, that's what I mean. There we go. And now, we get the Rune of Death. Remember, if she's dead or she's just sleeping. She's dead. Oh well. Yeah, so now we have the Rune of Death. That's how you can get one of the endings for Elden Ring, is by mending the... Uh... Well, yeah, mending the Elden Ring with the uh, Rune of Death. Oh yeah, here's some D. The wrath of the oh, yeah, no, order. he kills the order's justice writ in blood. This is what's become of your precious witch. Naught but expired meat and bone. This is a proper death, oh prince. Look at this rotten hole. No more children can be got from this useless flesh. Behold, your mother is dead. <laughs> <laughs> this is revenge, you witch. And you, you ghoul. This is the wrath of D. Yes, he's got lost it. So he was killed by the uh, death group and he kind of uh, came back to life. Uh, it's technically hello. living in death, I think. The rotten witch is dead. The golden order unsullied. Now I can look my brother Darian in the eye. Honeyed rays of gold deliver my spirit. Darian, now I have no regrets. Honeyed rays of gold deliver my spirit. Yes, you're kind of a uh, kind of not very uh, honeyed and not very okay now. <laughs> A little, little, uh, lost there. No. There's armor, yeah, I'm pretty sure he dies then, I think. That's why he drops all his armor, because that's what he's talking about. They have golden rays to deliver him. But yeah, so his whole thing is like hunting those who live in death, which obviously he doesn't like Bia because she produces those who live in death and obviously doesn't like the fact of how Godwin died now he's living in death. But we got that great, or uh, not the favor in the remembrance. So now.
Hold on, let me remember. So I gotta go over here. And I know I can get over there from over here. I'm just trying to remember how did I do that? I think I go through a cave over here? Hold on, let me look this up real quick. <laughs> No, I remember. Now I'm just blanking. Uh, not the deeper depths. I need the uh, to the lake of rot. That's on it. Uh, yeah. How do, how do I get to the main Ansel River? Hold on. Ansel, Ansel, Ansel. Uh, yeah, we have to guys. Okay, hold on. There is a coffin down here. Yeah, that's what I thought. I knew there was a coffin somewhere here in the deeper depths. I just couldn't. Uh, I just can't remember where it is. Okay, oh can I find it? Where is it? Uh, da, da, da. Hold on. Hold on. We're getting there. We're getting somewhere. Okay, where's the coffin at? It's... Okay, it says it's over here. Different markers? What? Am I crazy? Was that always a thing? Am I tripping? Oh, place a beacon. Oh, I guess I never placed markers. I feel like that was probably there for a while. I just never actually used it, but that's actually handy. I didn't I didn't even realize that was a thing. I don't know how after two hundred something hours I'm now realizing that, but okay. Uh it's quite easy to break over here. Okay, there we go. Now I remember. And then from the main, it's Ansel. Ansel? Ansel. Quite Ansel. Uh, the main Ansel River, then that's where I can get to the Lake of Rot, I believe. I believe you also need to go to the main Ansel River for part of Ronnie's quest as well. There's another way to get over there. I think it's through Ronnie's Rise, I think. There should be a portal there. I think. Something I was reading said. But we're all here already, so might as well. Have I actually taken this coffin? I don't actually remember. Maybe I've usually taken the portal, actually. This one doesn't actually look familiar. Or maybe it does. Maybe I did, like, one. Maybe I did one of the playthroughs? I've only gone to the Lake of Rot once, so... It's not, it's not a very fun place. Actually, no, I think I went there twice. I think I went there twice, actually. I think I might have gone there on my sorcery playthrough as well. Not a very fun place. It's it's literally just a lake of scarlet rot that you have to cross. <laughs> it's not. Okay, I don't remember. Is this one magical, or do I just fall? No, I just fall off. <laughs> it's uh, so much less ceremonious than the, the first one. There's this whole magic thing to fall off, and this one's just like, yeah, you just plumbing off the waterfall in a stone coffin. I don't even know how we ended up over here, but the coffin wouldn't even float. I feel like we'd be drowning. I'm not questioning. Is the way I normally go. I think the portal also takes you there. And then right here, I believe. I'm not doing her quest line, so I'm not gonna worry about. It. But I believe right here, what this is, is that um, 
you need this for Ronnie's quest line. I'm trying to go through that. It'll be uh, Ronnie's doll. Uh, it'll be a little doll of Ronnie. And you come over to the side of Grace and you talk to it. So if you're trying to do that, I'm just trying to get the uh, the basic ending. I'm not trying to worry about quest lines and stuff, but. The one that is once you do her arrest her quest, I think it's actually once you get up to this point. Once you do the finger slayer blade and stuff, and when she's like, oh, you. Oh, yeah, 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 we've already reached that point, actually. That's why it's there. When she's like, oh, you've done fine service. Uh, that guy's so loud. Once you've done fine service for me, I uh, no longer require your service and all that kind of stuff. Then she'll technically leave from the tower, but you can talk to her then doll, and that's so you continue the quest line. Uh, fake ending, fake ending. There's also a lot of uh, high level. Oh my god, that's too loud. A lot of high level uh, glove work, ghost glove work down here. Back. I'm just going purely off of my memory. Can I check my map, please? Uh, da, 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 da. okay. So we either need to go down this way or down this way. And that did that get us with like a rat? Or does that actually? I think that makes us overlook the like a rat. I think I have to get over here. I'm pretty sure this is overlooking the lake of rot, which is this massive freaking lake of just rot. Um, I'm pretty sure I do actually have to go this way. I think this just overlooks the lake of rot. So we'll go this way. Yeah, because this is an elevator here, I believe, because... Actually, I don't even think I can actually get down here, because this is the lower level, I believe, because you can go through here and then fight a guy here. Uh, I'm gonna put that, oh my god. One of the draconic type enemies. There's not actually a dragon, it's like a knight or something. How difficult are you guys? No. Ow, what the frick? I did do so much damage. Okay, maybe there's not as easy as I was thinking. Oh my god, I drank the wrong potion. Frick. Drinking the correct potion is very important. Oh, I'm gonna get past your standard again. Okay, so I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Let's do some sneaking. Yeah, because I remember I spent like forever to get to the overlook spot, only to realize it was only just an overlook and it wasn't actually. Uh, Get me to wake her up. Ah, yes, yes, this is muscular. Yeah, because you have to. I, I think you do have to defeat Estelle for Ronnie's. So you have to go through all this area. I just don't remember why. I know it's something to do with the fact that Estelle's. Estelle the Voidborn is technically like a fallen star. That's so how it's a creature like that. I think that's how all of them are, they're like fallen stars or something. Uh, um, do I need to go up this way or do I need to go... I guess I can just go... Oh, hello, I wasn't paying attention. I think I should be able to actually just run through down there actually. I think I've actually ran through the center area here. I think I always go up and around, but I don't think I need to unless I'm wrong. Could be wrong here. It's trying to attack me. Uh. No, that's not where I need to go. Catch all these dudes, or press that guy. Ow, ow. Okay, 
there's so much trying to come in here. Yes, I think it's this uh, little tower over here, elevator thing. I don't know why I always go up and around. I don't, even, I don't think there's any quest up there. I think that's just why I always end up going or something. I've never just ran through the center there. Oh yeah. Get away. I don't know why. There might be something up there and maybe I'm just forgetting. Yeah, I think I've fought still twice. I mean, like, on two playthroughs. Whenever I say, like, oh, I've been the fought the person twice or whatever. I mean, like, two playthroughs, not that it took me two times, because it probably didn't. <laughs> I think it was once when I was getting all the achievements in the game, and then the other time was when I was trying to get the, uh... I'm pretty sure he has a spell, I think he gives you. I'm pretty sure that's what I was getting from him for my sorcery playthrough. Oh, actually, no, I was just doing Ronnie's quest thing, because I, well, you know, sorcery, of course, I gotta do Ronnie's ending. I think that's why. I know you at least have to come for here for Ronnie, because you have to fight. You have to fight someone here. I guess I won't say who, in case of anyone's here, I say, but you gotta fight, like, a different version of someone here. But we're not interested in that. We're interested in going to... Probably, I think, usually everyone's agreed most annoying place in the game. It's just this. Look at this. Like, that is ridiculous. You have to cross all this. It is, it is not very fun. There are, like, platforms that will pop out of the ground. I think it's once you get to these things. But you can see that, like, I start to run through so much of this rot. And it's so big. It is such a massive area to run through. And that is your only side of grace over there. It's, it's, it's something. Yeah, you step on these, and these rise up more platforms. If those weren't there, then yeah, you'd be dead. There's no way you'd be getting over there. Then there's also these guys, though, so. Be able to get up here? I mean, if not, then I'm not gonna come down there and fight you guys. Now you're there. Cause these guys spray out death lights, so they're, they're a bit of a pain. You see, but you still have to, like, go through the rot on some of these parts. I think I should have... So, bothered with those guys. No, I don't. I used all them in fighting Melania, didn't I? I can get rid of Blight Beat and blow it up if I need to. Uh, do I have anything that boosts my immunity? Yeah, I do. Okay. It should be immunity, is what I need. Hold on, no, no. I want that on that, and I want to go into my inventory. Use this. Okay, I'm not gonna get Scarlet right here. Ooh, okay, that was close. <laughs> Thank you so much for the immunity, that didn't do much. Why, why is it always rock? Some immunity thing's not really helping me here. Uh, but it's also a pain though to wait for the thing to go down. It's just like you have to run through still so much rot is the issue. Like you raise these platforms, but then there's like you still have to run through so much. I just have to get over to there, and I do have a lot of health stuff. I don't I might just need to just tank the Starlet Rot. <laughs> I really don't feel like trying to wait. Oh my god, I forgot how much it hurts though, Jesus. Okay, this was a bad idea. I 
God, I forgot how much Scarlet Raw hurts. Let's go from here. You know, I just need to just tank it, maybe. <laughs> I'll just try tanking it. I don't, that's gonna take way too long to raise all these platforms. I'm gonna end up dying because it takes too long for it to go down. Come on, go, 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 go. Just keep running, just keep running. Yeah, this, this is why this area sucks. <laughs> Not much you can do against the rot. Oh, this is a great skin. Okay. Okay, that wasn't too bad tanking it. I still have a lot of health potions left, so. Or health flask. I don't know why I'm calling potions. Potions sounds weird. I rest before this thing kills me. There we go. Yeah, that 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 area that sucks. I'm pretty sure everyone agrees that that area sucks. It's just so unavoidable. It'd be more fine if it was like oh, just stay on the platforms and stuff. But the fact that like there's so much they have to run through, it's just unavoidable that you'll get Scarlet Rot. Unless if you want to wait at every single platform for like a couple minutes, which I I don't feel like doing. Oh, you get down. Oh, you're right here. These guys also suck. I hate their little, like, uh... These are not too bad, but... They have a little, like, needle attack thing that they, like, throw out. It's very difficult to dodge. It just really homes in on you. Okay, we're making our way. Making our way, making our way. Pretty sure we need to go through... Wait, is it through there? I think it's through there? I don't think it's to the left. I think it's through there. Okay, I can't use my screws. Oh wait, no, 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 it's over there. I don't remember what's up there, but I think where I need to go is this coffin over here. Yet another coffin. I think this should take me to where he is. Should. Hopefully I'm right about this and it's not the other direction. It should be this, I'm pretty sure. Time to go for a little little ride here. Somehow it doesn't just instantly kill me. Yeah, I think we're in the right place. forever to realize that there's all these coffins that you can ride through. Yeah, like I'm getting like all the achievements of the game, you kind of got to feel like a lot of different like both major and all the there's a lot of minor mini bosses or like major mini bosses, I guess. So luck I know like my way around a lot of places. Sometimes it's still a little tricky to remember. I think there is a side of grace down here, is there? No. And this guy doesn't give me a Scarlet Rot, so it's not that big of an issue, but... Bruh. 
broken Sega market. That's actually interesting. I actually never really realized that this was broken. I mean, like, it still works, I think, to spawn here, but I didn't realize, like, the arms are gone and half the head's gone. Because normally I'm pretty sure they're full pieces. I don't know. Maybe it's just a small detail. I'm now realizing. Okay, so I don't remember, like, anything about the still <laughs> attacks or anything. I just remember he's a grab attack that I need to avoid. Besides that, ooh, hold on, big laser. Oh, I did not dodge big laser. Okay, I thought I didn't realize that. Okay, well. Absolutely underestimated how long it would take to charge. I thought that was just grabbing. <laughs> I was like, wow, am I gonna get grabbed by that already? Stop with the death lasers. That's. Definitely not good. Wow. Teleport's around too, which is annoying. I always hit the enemies that like move around a bunch. Oh, did I not? I messed up. Hold on. I messed up. I messed up. I didn't realize I didn't have enough stamina. Oh, dang. That, that has a wide range. Okay, well, we did quite a bit of damage in though, so... Hopefully it shouldn't be too bad here. It's kind of this interesting area text there. I know he's a grab one. So I should really try to make sure I avoid that. I don't know if he has some other attacks I need to run away from. Okay, he does the laser on you. Yeah, okay. I don't know, I know the timing that. Uh, I'm not gonna care about grabbing my runes. <laughs> and they're like all the way over there. He's taking a lot of my health each hit. Oh, 
There we go. <laughs> See if he was if he was gonna kill me on that like sliver of elder zone. Oh yeah, he he's pretty he's not that bad. So it hits a lot harder than I remember him hitting. Well, I, I don't really remember much about him, but yeah, way harder than I expected. I guess all the bosses hit super hard now. Where does that take me? Oh, that. Why well, you need to come here to defeat Ronnie? I think I know where that takes you. Oh, okay. To defeat Ronnie. My, to, to do Ronnie's quest line. Because I'm pretty sure that takes you up to, uh. Uh, where's the above ground button? There it is. I think that takes you up to here. I'm remembering, like, on top, not underneath. Because we went underneath here for the Elbenerg Village. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes you to the well. Okay, then that well takes you. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, no, stop. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That well, that's how you get up here. That's why. Okay, I was trying to remember why you needed to do Ryan's quest on. Or why you needed to be in Ryan's quest. That's right. So you get to this, which allows you to get up there. Uh, which is definitely required for a quest line, so. There you go. There's some, uh, how to do her quest line, because you already saw me play through. Hers is definitely the longest and most complicated quest line. Uh, the second most is probably the Frenzied Flame one. Well, maybe. That one's not actually that. That one's actually not that difficult. Um, but hers is definitely the longest and most complicated one. So, yeah. So, I already showed before how to get over to the Curse Mark Death, Finger Slayer Blade. Once you give that to her, then she'll appear as the doll down there, grab the doll, talk to her with the rest. She'll just guide you what to do. Come here, defeat this guy, go up there. And then, uh, you'll have to it. do some other stuff up there, but then you'll find her up there again at the uh, basement of the church building there, so. That's pretty obvious once you get past through there. I'm not going to worry about that for now. Alright, we will head on up. Over here. Alright, well, that's pretty good. We got, a uh, Steel and the Lip Dragon. I'm basically going to all the areas of the game, so these videos will hopefully be some good clear guides of start to finish how to get to all the remembrance bosses. For anyone wanting it for a guide. Playing or whatever. Uh what the fuck was I gonna do? Oh yeah, the remembrance. Let me just check. Okay. So boom boom do 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 do. Yeah, and we only got these two left. Orlu and the Elden Beast. Because uh, all the ones with two, because I already had one of each, because it looks cool. Very nice. They usually die a couple times to Horlu, and then I die a bunch of the Elden Beast. The Elden Beast I always find is the hardest boss for me. I, I don't know why, but it just is every single time. Oh, right again, slash the Elden Beast, the last final boss fights. Uh, I think we'll call it there. We'll save, uh, Godfrey. Yeah, yeah, that's Godfrey. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was just trying. I was trying to remember. Like, I'm like, wait, what was the guy that's living in death's name? Godwin. That's right. I was like, I think the name's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Godfrey, Godfrey slash Rolu. I will save him for next time there, and then hopefully we should be able to. Hopefully, fighting him trying to take the tire. Was it? Is it usually you don't have too much difficulty with him? He just is one of those that again just hits very hard, but his attacks aren't usually the worst to dodge. Uh, I can, like, destroy these piles of scrolls. Scrolls? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, usually he's not, he's not too bad, but the, the Elden Beast, that's the one that I always have trouble with, so. Uh, but we should be able to at least start both of them. Well, we'll definitely be able to defeat. Not for next time, I was assuming, but. We'll see how far on the Elden Beast we get. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll, uh. 
rest here, I guess, in the queen's bedchamber. Uh, yeah. I'll be, uh, heading home for the summer very soon. Like, tomorrow. So, I will probably still, I'm definitely I'm planning on still making videos at home. It'll just be weird recording, and then my family hearing recording, so it's not like I do anything. I'm, I'm still just talking, I was talking to my friends playing video games, so it's gonna be an issue. And especially with more time of the summer, especially depending on if I do uh, get a job or not, because I'm still deciding. Uh, or if I can just find a good one, I guess is more of the thing. It's working conditions suck in a lot of jobs. Uh, but yeah, either way though, I should be able to have a lot more time since it'll be the summer. So I might try, so I'll probably try to make two videos a week at least. Um... Yeah, that's my that's my that's my plan. So it'll be the summer. I don't have to worry about classes or schoolwork, you know, other things. And also, just give me something to do because normally I get getting bored of the summer if I run out of games to play. Especially since there's not been very many good good new games that have been coming out uh, lately. Not a very good track record. But I know that August is supposed to be some good ones, so maybe we'll see if I play through any of those on here. I always still like to maybe play story games more just by myself to. Uh, have that peaceful enjoyment of them, but though, who knows, maybe depending on which one it is. I might uh, also do a playthrough on here. Uh, one that I have been playing a lot, though, has been Shadows of Doubt, which is an indie game that came out recently. And that's a very fun detective game. Very cool. You should definitely check it out. Uh, I'll probably make a... I'm sure I'll probably make a video on playing it at some point. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably do the Outer Ring one once I get home at some point. I'll hopefully finish up these bosses, then we'll... Uh, do some other stuff, and then I'll have that video essay coming along as well, talking about uh, Elder Ring's story. Or being a video game story, I guess. Uh, yeah, there's my ranting at the end of the video, just to give some plans, some updates here. If you make it this far, I wish you do make it this far, and this is my videos, uh, thank you. Uh, I don't know how many people actually make it through the uh, hour of me playing Elder Ring, but uh, if you do, thank you. And uh, thank you for watching. And I will uh, see y'all later.